Hey peeps, Tyler here with my weekly wrap-up. I have not finished anything this past week, but I have been reading a lot. Because my plan is to read what is on my currently reading. A little bit, like, each day and just cycle through them until eventually I complete, like, all of them probably very close together. So. I have worked on Frankenstein, A Cultural History. This I haven't read in a while but it's been on my currently reading list forever i had read like one chapter and i think there's an introduction there was an introduction and it'd been so long that i just reread it so i reread what i had already read it was like 40 pages and now i'm on page 57 so it's i don't read with the dust jacket on frankenstein a cultural history it's non-fiction about Frankenstein, got Mary Shelley, the making of it, the cultural history. It's exactly what the title says. So far, I'm really enjoying that. Don't know why I didn't pick it up in so long, considering how much I love Frankenstein. I'm also slowly working on Save the Cat, writes a young adult novel, since I'm working on a young adult novel. Project Maybon, which I have a playlist for. The Ultimate Guide to Writing, a YA bestseller by Jessica Brody. So far, I'm really enjoying this. I haven't read a lot more, but I've read a little bit more. I'm on page 83 now. I read, um... All is Lost and Bad Guys Close In. Since I'm at the midpoint of my story. So, I need to continue reading that. Because there's examples and stuff later. I've only read a few pages of Gandhi's autobiography, but I have read a few. And I'm on page 70 so far. So that's going to take a while, but... Also, a Kindle book I'm working on is Your Soul's Plan, Discovering the Real Meaning of the Life You Planned Before You Were Born by Robert Schwartz. I'm at 19% in that now. So, I am working on that. That That's very spiritual, and I keep crying reading that. I'm really enjoying that one. This, or so far at least. I'm also working on House of Leaves, as I've been mentioning, I think, a couple weeks now. My second attempt, as my first attempt, was in 2019, and I am finally further than I was the first time. It's weird saying I'm on page 97, because I've also read, like, some of the back here with the letters and shit. If you have read or know of House of Leaves, you know it's confusing. But I'm on page 97 at the moment, so I still have a ways to go. I have two bookmarks in there because sometimes you need them for one book. I'm enjoying what I understand. I don't understand all of it, though. But the house is interesting. The house that's bigger on the inside than the outside. This is also another book that I had started a long time ago and just stopped. So I reread what I'd already read, and that's the only astrology book you'll ever need. Now I'd left off after I'd read Aquarius, but I'd like read all of them all for the sun signs. There's more than the sun signs. If you don't know about astrology, everybody knows the sun signs, but there's a million other signs. There's not a million, but there's other signs, like your whole birth chart. You have a moon sign, a rising sign, planets, houses. It's very complicated, and there's a lot to it. You're a lot more than just your sun sign. So I've reread what I'd already read, finished it, because I still had to read Pisces, and now I'm on, like, the signs and love and stuff, and I'm noticing, A, she says to not stereotype people based on their sun signs because that's all they're, um, she's working at at the moment with the, uh, in love and stuff. But then she goes on to do that. It's like, so the irony is just, wow. It's obvious already, I haven't even gotten through them all, like, that she seems to not like certain signs 
to say the least, and stereotypes them after saying not to do that. Among other things, that I ended up looking up one and two star reviews on Goodreads. Which, if I do that while I'm reading a book, that, that's usually not a good sign. But, like, it's not, I don't think I'm going to hate it. But I did see in those one and two star reviews that apparently the charts in this thing are wrong. And my beginner astrology ass would never know if I hadn't looked that up. And also the title, apparently I'm not the only one that bugs. But she did mention in the beginning of it that she knows that's absolute. She didn't put hogwash, I forget how she worded it. But the only astrology book you'll ever need. One, the charts are wrong and you're biased after saying you shouldn't do that. And then, even if this was a wonderful five-star book, the astrology is so complicated, you can't get it all in one book. That is just literally impossible. But, she did know that, but the whole charts thing, and the stereotypes are already really started to bother me. I don't think it's, it's not like a one-star hate read. But it's not going to be a five-star either. So I'll see what I get out of this. I was already planning on reading a lot more astrology books anyway, so it's not really a huge deal, but that's... The fact that I had to reread so many pages because it had been so long and then that happened, so I'm like, well, that's annoying. So eventually I want to get down to just maybe reading a few books at once, like three-ish, four, whatever. But for now, I have to work towards getting down to that. Because I think that's what I end up needing. Because sometimes, like, the House of Leaves, I can't read a shit ton of that in one day or my brain is going to explode because it's headache-inducing. There are just some books you have to read slowly. Or at least for me. And so with those, I'd want to, like, have another book so I can continue reading stuff like that. I don't know if I'm making sense. But, um, that's what I've read. In the past week. I haven't watched anything. I've played a little bit of Maple Story, which I used to play. I think I got into it back in 2007, which is when I graduated high school, turned 18, and I've been on and off playing, mostly off, since then. But, so I'm back into that. I have a Paladin. I'm like level 40-something that I'm working on. I've had Paladins before. I just really love Paladins. I think I've gotten over level 100 at one point. But I'm somebody that just keeps restarting. I did get some writing done on three different projects. Uh, projects. I reverse outlined chapters 20 to 22 of Project Maybon. I'm currently on chapter 24. Chapter 23 wasn't that long, but at the moment, since I'm in the rough draft. So for Project Maybon, I wrote 1,004 words so far, but my total for the week is 2,371, as I added 275 words to Project Snails, which I know isn't a lot, but that Project Snails, which I only have one video about so far, but that is in a, in a playlist that at some point I'll add more to. But Project Snails is also a side project, so it, it's like interconnected flash fiction pieces so that 275 words is actually its own little story and then yesterday i'm filming this on sunday at like 8 30 p.m and it'll go up tomorrow morning monday morning so yesterday saturday i wrote in about an hour hour and a half a 1092 word short horror story because i'm like i still have to figure out exactly like, I know the next scene I'm, I need to do in Project Maybon to some extent, but I need to figure out how to write it. But also, I want to be a writer. In... And, um, so I figured if I div it up between two, three different projects, I don't want to go insane. But that seems to maybe be where I need to be. Anyway, it's a the whole story in and of itself. I call it Project Bugs at the moment. 
but it's barely a thousand words, and it's a it's whole complete story. It's a body horror short story. I don't know what I'm going to do with it at the moment, if anything. But I wrote it, and so far I just love that I was able to write a story in like barely an hour. So, that was fun. But I can't really do it much with it because it's a thousand words is like four-ish pages. So. But I would like to write more short stories. So I'm going to do that. And, yeah, that's what I've done in the past week. Quite a bit of reading, even though I didn't finish anything. Over 2,000 words written. And a couple chapters were verse outlined. So, yeah, and this past week, in the middle of it, was I just had a com complete day that was just one of those days that I just played Maple Story, which is also laggy. And nothing else, because... It was just one of those days. I think that was Wednesday. So, anyway. What have you read? Watched? Played? What have you, what have you done? If you want to comment down below, like, comment, share, subscribe. Hit the bell if you want to. Thank you for watching, and have a nice day.